so in the name of almighty allah i am tawseef iqbal so in this topic we have to focus on those important medical terminologies which are commonly used inside hospital during clinical practice so in this we shall be only focusing a short definition so first of all anemia so basically anemia is a deficiency of a uh, hemoglobin in blood so normally hemoglobin present inside a red blood cell so anemia has different types so this is a short definition of anemia deficiency of rbc and hemoglobin in blood next is analgesics so basically analgesics are those medicine which alleviate pain which reduce pain which mitigate pain so analgesics wo medicine hote hai jo uh, pain ke liye istemal hote hai to wo tamam medicine jo pain ki uh, sensitivity ko pain ki threshold ko kam karte hai so un tamam medicines ko hum kehte hai analgesics next is so next is erythralgia so basically when there is a pain in a joint so we call it erythralgia so are we simply call it joint pain next is sepalalgia so sepalalgia is a medical term for headache so basically headache hai a uh, few types but sim uh, to simple headache we call it sepalalgia next is nephralgia when there is pain inside kidney when there is pain in kidney so we call it nephralgia next is neuralgia so when there is pain inside uh, nervous system so when there is a uh, pain sensitivity from nerve as in case of tooth ache or bone ache or other condition so when there is pain production from nerve or nerve pain is called neuralgia next is myalgia so muscle pain is simply called myalgia next is otalgia so otalgia is air ache when there is pain inside pain perception inside air so we call it otalgia next is gastralgia so when there is pain inside stomach when there is pain perception inside stomach so simply call it gastralgia and last one is hysterodynia so when there is pain inside female uterus so simply call it hysterodynia so these are all simplest and shortest definition of these important medical terminologies so hopefully in next lecture we will be focusing all important medical terminologies which are commonly and commonly used inside clinics and hospitals so thanks for watching see you in next lecture thank you